YouTube, man. Y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Big One. I'm back in the cut with another mother... Boy, I'm trying to... Ow! I'm trying to up the skull. Up the skull. One of these videos gonna hit a million, and I swear to God, we gonna blow up the skull. Man, roll to 3K subscribers, man. Smash that subscribe button right now if you're new to the channel. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Then once you do that, man, I need you to click that bell to be notified every time you see one so lit post a video and tune in with it, man. Get in the conversation, rock out with me, leave a big thumbs up on the video. Look, y'all got to help me. You know what I'm saying? And it's so free to help me. Like, all you got to do... It's just subscribe, like, comment, and that's going to help our algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Like, please, please, please just help me, like. I know my brother called me. But, hey, look, man, yeah, we finna rock out. Ah, oh, shit, my I let the thing lock. But we finna rock out, man. Next video we got, man, is Rappers Ready for Ops. The Baby, Lil Baby, 21 Savage, and more. You know what I'm saying? Rappers, you know what I'm saying? They got to stay ready. Not just for ops, but for anybody. Like, ain't even got to be your ops, bro. When you, when niggas know you got motion, you making money, they going to hate regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's so like, you got to always watch out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can never get comfortable in no position you in. Like, no position. Like me, when I blow up, I'm not going to stay comfortable in my city. You know what I'm saying? I make sure I'm moving around. I already move smart. See, first of all, before you this 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 how this how it happened, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me tell y'all real quick, you feel me? This how it happened, you know what I'm saying? To be successful, you gotta get ready for success. I read this book called Project 369. Get it if you haven't already. I got it right here. Hey, <laughs> look. Hey, hey, just hold up. You feel me? We finna rock out with the video, but look, I gotta spread y'all this knowledge because I know y'all can see how my energy and shit changing and shifting. And y'all probably like big one just he got some up his sleeve. It's just, I just know. Like, I feel the energy. Like, I feel God vibration. You hear me? This book right here. And when you talk to God every day, like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I used to talk to God, but I ain't talk to him every day. I would, I would like, go to family and stuff more than God. But I don't even do that no more. Like, I don't even do that no more. Uh-uh. I go straight to Jesus. I tell him everything. Jesus, we finna do this. We finna do that. I get happy and excited about it. You know, I even cry sometimes. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But look, this book right here changed everything. And this book is saying... Whatever you want to do, whatever it is, you got to already move like that. You got to act like that. So if I know my goal is to be one of the greatest content creators, I got to move like the greatest content creator. I got to act like the great, like I'm already, like I'm already a great. Can't doubt myself for none of that. So that's what it is. I'm already moving smart and stuff. You hear me? So once it pop, boom, bam, I ain't going to get caught slipping or none of that because I'm already on my pivot. You know what I'm saying? I move smart. But we ain't going to waste too much time, man. Let's hop straight into this video and let's see how they how they prepare for that, how they was ready for their ops, man. How was they ready for their ops? How was they able to not catch the ops, catch them lacking, man? Let's check it out. The rap game can get dangerous. Yeah. Just because you make it out the hood doesn't mean you're safe. Exactly. There's plenty of famous artists from XXX Tentacion, Nipsey Hustle, to Pop Smoke have been killed in normal situations that took a turn for the worse. We've done plenty of videos on rappers called lacking, but here's a look at some of the rappers not lacking who have either been caught or admitted to carrying a gun. <laughs> the baby. I uh got them screaming. What what really woke me up though was probably them kicking the door. Okay. Because I'm I hear the screaming, so it couldn't have been screaming, so they're probably, you know, I boom hopped up ground on. I hear screaming, ah, 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 but I come straight out. Jonathan Lindale Kirk, aka the baby, is one of the hottest artists in the game. He's originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, yeah. and has been involved in several situations where he was ready for ops. Early in his career, the baby was involved in a situation at a Walmart where a man was shot and killed. According to his testimony to the police, he was out shopping for winter clothes with his daughter and his baby mama when two men ran up on him. Man, I thought they said Huntsville. <laughs> I'm say, what the fuck? They say Huntsville, that. One of the men flashed a gun and threatened him. What happened next isn't clear, but one of the robbers, 19-year-old Jalen Dominique Craig, was killed. The baby claimed self-defense, and the evidence must have proven he was telling the truth. The murder charge brought against him was dropped. Instead, he was charged with the lesser crime of carrying an unconcealed weapon and sentenced to one year of unsupervised probation. But that wasn't the only time the baby was ready for ops. There was another incident that occurred early in his career where the artist was the victim of a home invasion and woke up to six armed men breaking into his home. Damn, he described six? the incident in an interview with Vlad TV. 
Baby claims that the robbery occurred only a year or so after he started rapping. It was before the big break in his career when he signed to Arnold Taylor and South Coast Music Group, when he was a hot local rapper who hadn't quite made waves on a national level. He was well known in the city for being a hot up and coming rapper and attracted the jealousy of enemies in his hood. He says that even though he and his crew were building a buzz with the music, their business wasn't right and they weren't moving as smart as they should have been. He and his homies used to print their own t-shirts to wear to shows and wherever else they went. Even though this turned out to be a great viral marketing gimmick, it also put a target on them. When they would roll up to where they were staying, it became obvious who was inside and what they had with them. One night, the baby claims he awoke to his door being kicked down and a crew of six armed robbers entering his apartment. At first, I didn't know what woke me up, but I found out after, you know, once I woke up and shit. But, uh, like, I hear niggas, this the first time I remember, I hear niggas yelling a bunch of niggas you know and i know shit and i only stay with my brother that's the only other nigga to live there anybody else can come through there they just a friend or something mm -hmm. he claims that he knew right away that the burglars were amateurs because of how aggressive and scared they sounded he says a smart calculated crew would have been slicker and more careful but they gave away their position right away this forced him to go into james bond mode and grab his gun <laughs> after that he came down the corner and ran up on him when he got into the main living room where the robbers were, they were already rummaging through his things, looking for cash and valuables. At that point, he turned into Rambo and got into a six verse one shootout with the burglars. He shot the one closest to him and the rest started firing back. He managed to escape back down the hallway and out through the garage without being hit by any stray bullet. That scared the burglars off and they escaped before anything else went down. The baby claims he knew it was rookies who tried to rob him because the first thing they went after was the TV. Plus, they didn't scan the entire apartment before going after valuables. He says that on the night of the robbery, he posted a video to social media where he was going to hang out with a woman. He says that he believes the robbers probably thought he was still there and figured that he wouldn't be home. All in all, the baby doesn't seem too phased by the incident. So any ops thinking of running up on them should probably think again. But the baby isn't the only baby in the rap game ready for smoke. Stay tuned to find out who else is always ready for. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Let me turn it down. We can't get no type of strikes or none of that. I'm going to let the ad play through because I can't skip it. But we can't get no strikes or none, man. Uh, little baby. Pop smoke situation did make me feel like I need to just tighten up a lot more. You feel me? Like, cause, cause even though just like, you know how you see all the little bull on the internet, what they saying happened, like, he posted an address and mm -hmm. this and that, but I really like a do that. You feel me? Just, it just make, even though you, that might have didn't happen, none of that. It right. Just, you seeing it and then you thinking like, okay, I'm a celebrity too. Like, I, I might do do some little goofy like Show my address, you know what I'm saying? Right. Dominique Armani Jones, better known by his stage name Lil Baby, is another one of the most popular artists in rap, who also goes by the name Baby. Lil Baby is from the Oakland City neighborhood in Atlanta and is affiliated with Quality Control, a record label that helped develop major stars like the Migos and Lil Yachty. But before rap, Lil Baby was heavily involved in street activity and is not taking any chances now that he's famous. Lil Baby was raised by a single mother along with two sisters. His father abandoned the family when he was only two years old and growing up, he struggled to make ends meet. He started selling drugs and getting in trouble in middle school and was forced to drop out of school in the ninth grade. In 2012, he was arrested for drug possession with intent to sell, among other charges. He was put in a special alternative program but was discharged for getting in a fight with another inmate over racial issues. There's an interview on Vlad TV where DJ Vlad asked him about this incident and Baby quickly asked Vlad how he knows about the fight, proving Lil Baby is sharper than most young rappers when it comes to self-snitching and dealing with the media. Okay, you got to a fight with a, with a white dude. Exactly. Was it like a, a racist thing? Was it like whites and blacks kind of clicked up in there? How you know that? <laughs> well, that's just how prison is most times. I'm telling you, how you know I got into it with a white dude, though? I think you may have mentioned it in the past. <laughs> see? Oh, they, see, bro? That's how y'all rappers be snitching on y'all self, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Lil Baby, he probably the smartest rapper alive. Lil Baby. The Baby. I ain't gonna lie. The Baby, he got a little cockiness in him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he one of them niggas like, you feel me? He gonna blow, but, hey, you shit, you move stupid if you want to. You feel you know what I'm saying? So you, you can't be cocky sometimes. You got to be smart, bro. Because bullets don't got straight... Bullets don't got eyes, you know what I'm saying? And 
anything can happen. God forbid that, but you gotta be smart out here, period. Baby was eventually released after a two year prison sentence and started a rap career soon after getting out. Since that time, he skyrocketed to becoming one of the most popular rappers in Atlanta and an international star. But all that fame and notoriety comes with its downsides. In the fall of 2020, Lil Baby gave an interview with Hot 97 where he talks about the passing of Pop Smoke. He says that even though he was thinking about the possibility of a situation like that going down before Pop was killed, his passing made him really tighten up. He says that due to the way rappers carry themselves and wear expensive chains and jewelry, they naturally become targets. The way that we carry ourselves, money, jewelry, I know that's a whole extra target, so I ain't saying that come with it, you feel me? But the way we present ourselves, you kind of got to be aware of that. Therefore, all the shootings and killings that have occurred in hip hop over the last few years have made him be smarter about how he moves. Not long after, Lil Baby was spotted taking photos with fans with what appears to be a handgun in the pocket of his sweatshirt. The most notable photo is <laughs> that Houston rap I remember that Bugs picture. posted to Instagram. I remember that picture that day. What city they was in? Because Bun B said, bumped into at Lil Baby today. Good people enjoy the city, King. So he must have been Bun B City. Where Bun B at? He takes us to somewhere. The caption bumped into Lil Baby. You should see that motherfucker. What he, he, he probably the holding the Glock. Allegedly, he took several similar photos with fans in the same parking lot. In the photo, Lil Baby clearly has a nervous look on his face, and his right hand is hidden in his pocket. You can see the outline of what appears to be a. He ain't got no fucking nervous look on his face. Come on now, don't don't lie on him. Don't lie on him like that. that. You caught it a nervous look. I can show you a nervous look. Let me show you a nervous look. Let me show y'all a nervous look real quick, man. That what you call a nervous look. <laughs> <laughs> look at Lil Dirt right here. That's what you call a nervous look, bruh. That's a nervous look on that thing. I mean, it ain't nothing about it. I mean, ain't nothing wrong about it. Oh, shit, no. Damn, my bad. I got to start the screen recording back. It ain't nothing wrong with it either, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with it. Be a pistol. While it's possible that the gun is a prop for a video, based on his prior comments to Hot 97 just a few weeks earlier, it seems like this is exactly what Lil Baby meant when he said he had to tighten up. No charges were brought against the artist for weapons possession, and luckily, no one tried to run up on him during his photo shoot. But it shows that Lil Baby is ready for ops at any moment, and he understands the risks that come with being a popular rapper in today's day and age. But Lil Baby is the- And real quick, I just seen the video not too long ago, uh, when they shot that uh, Rhode Island video, when they shot that Rhode Island video, uh, Lil Baby had, he had a, he had a, yeah, he, yeah. I want to preview, just show, show them with a strap then. Only Atlanta rapper who's ready so for the smoke. So he speak what he talk. He, he a rapper that speak what he talk. A lot of rappers be speaking what they ready for be speaking, but don't really be like that, you know what I'm saying? That feeling when you discover. No, nope, not doing it. I don't care. Abraham Joseph, better known as 21 Savage, is a major recording artist born in the UK but raised in Atlanta, Georgia. 21 Savage's criminal past is well documented and he's no stranger to the streets. Since becoming a rapper, 21 turned his life around and has tried to distance himself from the negativity that got many of his friends and relatives killed. But despite his new outlook on life, he's still prepared for the drama at a moment's notice. 21 was born in London, England, but moved with his mother to Atlanta when he was seven after his parents separated. He started getting in trouble from a young age and was expelled from the seventh grade for bringing a gun to school to threaten a bully. He dropped out of high school in the ninth grade to sell crack. Now y'all gonna, okay, granted he took a gun to school, but shit, is for a bully, yeah, what the fuck? Back and joined a local neighborhood gang and eventually the Bloods. His brother Tay Man, who was also a drug dealer, was shot and killed when the rapper was young. And several of his friends were killed in the streets while he was coming up. 
His partner Larry was killed when he was 19. Then two years later, he and his friend Johnny were ambushed in a botched drug deal. Johnny was killed and 21 was shot six times but survived. In a viral interview with DJ Vlad, he says that losing his friend and getting shot was what turned him into a true savage. After you got shot that many times, like what really changed? I turned into a savage, man. I got on that bullshit. I was goddamn trying to kill everybody, man. Everybody. If you a nigga mother look at me wrong, B. He's gonna die, B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anybody who owes me money, B. They got on that real goddamn paid and full shit, man. Also, check out our video on Rappers Caught Lacking for more info on the shooting that pushed 21 Savage into the rap game. After getting out of the hospital, 21 decided to start taking rap seriously and find a way out of the streets. He released his first mixtape, The Slaughter Tape, in 2015. Man, that was... Later with bruh, that shit... I think that was the hardest shit 21 Savage dropped. Slaughter. I Yeah. Man, that tape... I'm gonna have to listen. Ooh, I'm gonna have to listen that. Ooh... Hot boxer coming soon, man. React to 21 Savage Slaughter. Throwback. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Comment down below if y'all want that to happen, man. If y'all want that to happen, spam the comments with 21 Savage Slaughter uh, hot boxing review. Smash it down below, man. We're going to make it happen. With Metro Boomin and made him a national star. Savage Mode. After that, 21 Savage skyrocketed. Yeah, from Savage Mode too. The international superstar and has gone on to release several Billboard charting albums and even be nominated for a Grammy. But despite his newfound success, 21 Savage is always ready for ops. Back in the summer of 2018, 21 and his crew were living the high life at an annual pool party at an Atlanta mansion. Allegedly, someone in attendance tried to hit on a girl that was involved with a member of 21's crew and a fight broke out. In footage released by TMZ, an unknown man is shown getting his ass beat while a group of people, including 21, watches. Guns are drawn, and someone in his crew suddenly hands 21 an object. As the angle of the shot changes, 21 flashes a gun in the pool party fight, showing that despite his fame, he hasn't gotten soft. The fight ended in punches, and no shots ended up being fired. Police were called to the scene, and witnesses were questioned, but no arrests were made. 21 didn't get in any legal trouble for holding the gun, even though the footage was posted by TMZ and made its way all over the internet. Who knows if the gun was legally registered and if things popped off, 21 may have had to do some time, especially because he's a convicted felon. But luckily, things didn't escalate and the ops got off with the warning that if you mess with 21 Savage and his crew, it's gonna be hell to pay. Bruh, get the f That's the end of it. Man, they in the, he in the video like that. He ain't do no outro or nothing. Just straight stop the video. <laughs> what the fuck? But hey, man, look. I about done with that one, man. Those, those are three main rappers that you will not see getting caught lacking by their ops. I'm pretty sure there's plenty more, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, excuse me. It's sad to say that the more deaths that happen... Uh, the more smart these rappers and stuff start moving, like it is sad to say that, but you know what I'm saying? Shit, it is what it is, man. They gotta protect themselves at all costs, at all times, no matter the consequences, no matter what. But I'm about done with that one, man. Like I said, get in that comment section down below and spam the comments if y'all want me to do a hot back, a hot boxing video to that um uh, to that slaughter mixtape, man. The throwback, a throwback reaction. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, we bringing all types of contents all different ways. Uh, make sure y'all follow my detailing channel. Make sure y'all follow the family channel. Make sure y'all uh, subscribe over here, man. Road to 3K. Let's hit 3K before the new year. You know what I'm saying? New year. It's going to be a new year. New vibes. New scenery. New everything, man. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better get ready because, hey, our time is here. After five and a half years, going on six, we finna get that shine, baby. And I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? All glory to God. Until the next video, big one, I'm out.